What's up everyone, this is CyberKnight8610 and today I got my Dragons of Legend 2 box for you guys. So yeah, we've had a lot of openings lately and next week I'm planning on some uh, really cool openings too, so hopefully you guys are looking forward to that. But uh, yeah, so I'm actually doing a random pack opening and Dragons of Legend box opening today. And also, of course, I got this from StragglesOnline.com. Be sure to check them out, as always, link in the description. Uh, I always order through them too, they have some, uh, always have some great cards and stuff, and I like how they're in Houston. I, I don't live in Houston, by the way, but uh... Since I'm also in Texas, I get stuff pretty quickly from them, so I'm glad I got this today because I didn't know if I'd be able to do the box opening next week or what, because I got a lot going next week. That's why I'm doing uh, some special openings for you guys that I've already recorded, so I really hope you guys are looking forward to that. I don't really want to spoil what it is just yet, though. You guys will know on Monday. But anyway, let's see what we get from these packs. There's just a lot of great cards from it. And people keep asking me, too, if I'm going to do a, uh, a Tune Deck profile. I think I might. I mean, I usually get hate for deck profiles, unfortunately, but if I can get everything I need for tunes, you know what? I'll probably do a deck profile. How about that? Just depends on what I get. Because a lot of stuff is supposed to be pretty hard to find. And we have uh, Rocket Hermos Cannon. Secret Air. That's awesome. I want to get all the Hermos and uh, Critias stuff, so there you go. Toon, or Shadow Tune, excuse me. I wanted to say it backwards. Uh, I guess I'll separate the Secret Airs. I don't remember how I usually separate packs like this where you're guaranteed hollows. I think it's usually like that. There's a lot of good cards in this set, though. Toon Briefcase. <laughs> I like this card just because. I mean, it just looks so funny. And Toon Mask. That's a useful one. Did I get one out of my other opening? I think I got one out of my uh, recent opening that I did yesterday. So, there's another one. Kind of reminds me of like Shrek or something with the, those ears. I've heard Toon Kingdom and Doppelganger. Or Mimic Cat, excuse me, are the harder ones to get. I keep wanting to call it Doppelganger. That's what it was, I believe, in the anime. <laughs> uh, I guess it's Mimic Cat now. Aqua Actresses. And we have a Tyrant Burst Dragon. Another one of the forms. We got the Mirror Force Dragon, I think, from the last opening. So there we go. I want to get all the forms of Kratos and Heroes. Uh, I've had people want me to build some of them, too. I don't know. I've, I've seen a few loops that people have like sent me through replays and stuff. So I might try something. I don't really know, though, what I want to do on those. But I am thinking about, of course, uh, doing a deck profile on Toons. And then later on, I guess it's August, when we get all the Red Eye support. Because I'm thinking about getting a case of the next set. We'll see. I I'm still debating on it. Legendary Knight Critias. There we go. We got Tami we got two Tamias, I think, last time. So there we go. We got Critias now. It looks awesome, of course. Kaiba and, and armor and everything too. I think it's cool how they're like the characters. And the Hermos one is Joey, so. I'm still really happy that we're getting Kratos and Hermos. I know I said that last time, but I was I was afraid we wouldn't get them. See. And we have Goddess Bow, another one of Hermos's uh, transformations or fusions, I guess, really. I want to build, I, I don't know, I'm wondering, can you actually use Hermos and Kratos in the same deck and make it competitive without going with the whole loop on night thing? I might just try to build something with just Hermos and just Kratos, because I want to use them. I mean, Tamias was a lot of fun with Dark Magician. The deck I made on that was always really fun, which I might have to update and show that again. Toon Mask, again, get another one of those. I really hope I can get some Mimic Cats and Kingdoms, though, because, like I said, I've heard some things that they are a pain to get. I think Mimic Cat's the most expensive card in this set. So let's hope it's not going to be a pain to try to get some of those for if I'm going to do a deck profile. Hey, Red Eye Spirit, that's good. Another Goddess Bow. Yeah, but I really want to build Red Eyes. So I'm thinking I might get a case next set since I've been looking forward to the Red Eye support so much. I don't know how easy it's going to be to get everything or not, though. Hopefully not too short printed or something. Another uh, Legendary Knight, Critias. Come on, where's Hermos? Critias is awesome, don't get me wrong, but I, I still need to get Hermos the actual dragon. Because I got Critias from the last opening, which I, I'd like another one of those too, if possible. I don't know how short printed they are. What I've seen, I've seen a lot of people have pretty good luck on getting those, at least. So, we shall see. Have a Time Magic Hammer. That's another one of the Hermos fusions. I'm still happy they made those. I was kind of wondering if there would be a way they would make those. I'm still hoping the next set, though, we get like this, we'll have, like, Valen's armor cards. Red Eye Spirit again, that's good. 
And then we have uh, Prediction Princess uh, Tartray, which uh, is a really cool card, by the way. I mean, a lot of people don't really look at these Prediction Princesses, uh, but yeah, they're actually pretty awesome. It's like one of the first newer Ritual Monsters we saw, because I remember being all excited that we were seeing Ritual Monsters again. I think that was before Necroz as well, if that was on the anime, so... I'm always happy to see Ritual Monsters. Even though I don't like going against Necroz <laughs> when I duel, I still like Ritual Monsters, so... I won't hold it against them. Ah, oh, there we go. Toon, Ancient Gear Golem, and Doom Virus Dragon. Oh, man. So awesome they printed this card. It looks amazing. I love all the different, like, forms to Critias. Like I said, it's my favorite of the Legendary Dragons. Although all three are amazing. One of my favorite seasons, even though I think it's all technically filler <laughs> for the show. I still think it's one of the best. Roulette, Spider, everything. We have another Time Magic Hammer. Not really seeing any Tomb cards besides Ancient Gear Golem and a Mask. A few of those. I know Tomb Ma uh, Mask Sorcerer has gone up in price a lot. It's only like a common, I think a rare as well. Toon Kingdom! There we go, our first one! So, just need two more of this. This card's amazing. I'm so happy they made this card. And it looks awesome. I mean, a lot of nostalgia with Toons. Toons have always been one of my favorite types of cards anyway, just because, uh, I don't know, they're just funny. I mean, <laughs> even in the show and everything. For Pegasus to be, I think, one of the best villains of the show and kind of one of the scariest, he used Toon cards. And I, I just thought that was kind of ironic and, and just funny. I was like that. And, like, Toon Blue Eyes blowing himself up and everything and then laughing. <laughs> Tyrant Burst Dragon again. That's awesome. I need another Mirror Force Dragon. I got one from the pack opening yesterday. So if I'm going to build something with Critias and all that, I probably need two of them. I don't know. Like I said, I still need to do some testing. I don't have any Decklist really in mind. Red Eyes Burn. Oh, there we go. Legendary Knight Hermos. So that's awesome. Got the Legendary Knight version of it now. Just need the regular. But yeah, tell me if you guys have any cool ideas on some deck lists for Critias and Hermos. I had a few people send me some in on Facebook, which uh, I'm going to test out and try them out. Looks like fun. Another Goddess Bow. I'd like to get the, the Red Eyes Ritual Monster in this too. I forgot its name. The, the Paladin one. Level 4. I've been testing out a build with Red Eyes with it. Pretty awesome. There we go. And we have another one of the uh, Prediction Princess Tower Tray. Also, tell me again if you guys like the quality of this video. I've been working on different qualities. I'm trying to make sure all my videos from now on are 1080. And uh, just trying to work on my lighting and everything. So, give me, you know, if you if you like the way it looks, just kind of tell me. And if you don't, just tell me on that too. I want to know what I need to improve on, as always. Always want my videos to look the best. A uh, Rocket Hermos Cannon. Yeah, we got one of those, I think, at the beginning. So, we got a couple of each of the Hermos Fusions. Where's Hermos, though? Come on. <laughs> gotta get it. Like I said, that's one of the main ones I really want. You gotta get all Legendary Dragons. And, uh, yeah, there's the Ritual Monsters talking about. The uh, Paladin of Dark Dragon. Really cool card. It's a lot of fun to use. Like I said, that's what I've been testing out with Red Eyes. It's pretty good. Has a few dead draws though, unfortunately. So I'm still trying to work on it before I do any kind of any kind of deck profile or anything. But I think I'm gonna wait for the actual red eyes cards to get printed, because I know you guys rather see the in real life like with me actually having the cards that profiles. There's a red eyes black dragon sword. I got one of those yesterday too. Looks cool. Kinda looks like a dual runner to me when I look at it. Like see? That it kind of, I don't know, it just, it, it reminds me of like a dual runner for some reason. Like it just put some wheels on it and that's what it is. Still not seeing any comic hands or uh, mimic cats. And, <laughs> okay, ask and you shall receive a uh, mimic cat. So there we go. Uh, yeah, that's, this card's supposed to be the one that's the hardest one to get, too, so I really hope I can get a couple more, because, like I said, I want to build tunes because they're awesome, and they just look like a lot of fun, but, uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully it's not going to be too much of a pain. <laughs> Come on. Come on, Konami, work with me here. Heart of the cards. But I'm glad I at least got one. I mean, you know. I'm getting closer to it. 
I'll probably get another one of these boxes too for later on. So expect nothing on that pretty soon. Legendary Night uh, Hermos. Like I said, all this uh, coming week will be just special openings I have planned for you guys. And then um, the week after that, I think I'll be opening up the next set, the next Japanese set. I've already ordered that. Uh, some manga promos that I wanted to talk about and a bunch of stuff too. So I'm even going to start doing some more top 10s and Q&A videos and stuff. I have a lot planned. So hope you guys are looking forward to that. A uh, Red Eyes Black Dragon Sword. Again. If you guys have any requests on future videos though, I'd love to hear it too. And last pack. What can we open with? Can we get a Comic Can? Or Toon Kingdom? Or Mimic Cat? I, really, those three. Or actually, Hermos too would be amazing. But I gotta get those Toon cards. You guys want me to do a Toon Avril fall? I gotta try to get all the Toons. So far, I'm, not, I'm having some alright look with it, I guess. And Prediction Princess Tara Trey. Unfortunately, not really what we needed, but I got a place for this card. And it's actually, like I said, it's a pretty awesome card, too. So, yeah, there we go. I guess we'll go through the secret rares real quick, what we got. I'm not going to name off everything, just kind of go through them so you guys can get an idea on kind of a recap. But, yeah, unfortunately, no Hermos, no Critias either, honestly, from that. So, I'm glad I got one yesterday from a pack opening. Hopefully, the next box will have one, and maybe a couple of Mimic Cats, some Kingdoms, and Comic Hands, too, because, like I said, Evidently, those are a pain to get, and I hate that they are a pain to get. I mean, come on. You, you print us cool cards, Konami, make them easy to get. But I have to kind of forgive you since we're getting that, uh, basically, the whole collection thing with Yugi, the three decks, and promo cards. So, fine. You win this round. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this opening. As always, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. Like I said, working on a, a lot of video ideas stuff, so if you guys have any requests and stuff, just let me hear it on that, whether it's openings or top 10 stuff or just anything. You know, I want to hear which, you know, what kind of videos you guys want to see. And also tell me, like I said, the quality on the future videos and that, because I'm trying to make sure everything is the highest quality possible, because I always want to have the best videos for you guys. And also, uh, like I said, I will get another box of Dragons of Legend 2. We'll have that sometime soon. And next week, very special openings for you guys. So I'm really hoping you guys will be excited about those. And and are looking forward to those. But yep, thank you guys for watching as always. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. And of course, I will catch you guys later. See ya. Hope you guys have enjoyed my latest video. Be sure to subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos, as well as check out my other two channels, Cyber Night Games for Let's Plays, and also a Cyber Night CCG for Card Fight Vanguard openings. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. See ya.